this is the ninth build. Um, call it the dipstick because of the paint job. I've got really skinny strings as you can hear. Which I'm not real sure about. Um, funnily enough, I think I've done a really good job on the frets and they're almost wasted on the, on the skinny strings here because although it is playable as a fretted guitar, it actually sounds a lot better uh, if, you, if you're using a slide and especially a glass slide. So. even better still but yeah pretty happy with this um, it's yeah it's the usual sort of materials that I'm, I'm repurposing secondhand stuff uh, including for the knobs you know old pieces of dowel broom handle type of stuff the neck is the only wood that's bought new uh, and it I've sort of made it look probably a lot older <laughs> or tried to uh, when I built this I had a different set of tuning pegs on it. They were real cheap crap, um, and basically they failed trying to tune it. They just come out of tune. The gears weren't meshing together, so you'd just about get a tune, then it'd, it'd go back a couple of notes again. So I put these on, and they're a lot better. And the, the original ones were chrome, the black ones seemed to suit it as well. So it's the first time I've used a six, six post uh, pickup. So I put on a bit of an angle, trying to make the most of the magnets in it. Um, yeah, it used a door latch, or a gate latch, or trunk latch type of thing for the for the tail piece. Um, the pine on the outside is actually thinner than normal. It's it's more floorboard thickness instead of like the thicker pine that I've, I've used in the past. But yeah, so. Very high pitch. It's tuned to G. It's a 635 mil scale, so between between the bridge and the nut, 635 mils. Um, and yeah, I've got to admit, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I think if I put uh, thicker strings on, I reckon it could do with with shaving. Probably, you can see it there. Shaving a little bit off of the bridge to lower that action down up the top here. The action at the nut is pretty good, but I think it's a bit high at the base. Uh, got the, the sound holes, <laughs> basically they're just lines cut in with a, a Dremel tool. So um, the material I'm using is fairly, pretty old and brittle, old wardrobe sort of door, basically. So for a bit of added sound, I've uh, put the Barocca tube in the top um, and it's got internal springs in it, so you can hear them um, just to give it a bit more acoustic sound. So, yeah, some things I'm really happy with the headstock, really happy with the neck and the fretting. Pretty much the only thing I'd change would be the strings and just uh, make the bridge a little bit lower, and I think it should be a pretty good guitar. So, yep. Number nine finished, number 10's already started. <laughs>